Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. We are back with another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today's video, we're going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup from Walmart. Ya saben, I love testing new makeup out, especially when it's affordable and I can actually go and spend my money on it. So I have the new L'Oreal Summer Collection. I also have the new Cover Roll Concealer, which I didn't even know was released. And then I also found a nice shadow palette. You know, just a bunch of good stuff to try out. Um, if you guys enjoy videos like this, then make sure you guys keep on watching. I've been kind of giving myself a little break when it comes to trying out new makeup. My last two videos were about new makeup-ish, but you know, nothing like me trying it out so today i'm really excited to play with some makeup with you guys and see what's good and what's not so without further ado let's go ahead let's grab our makeup brushes and get started so i have all the new stuff here and i did my eyebrows of course and if you guys notice my lips are like a little bit red it's because i always use a plumping lip gloss i have no idea where it's at but it's this one from new yen you guys anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and get started by testing an eyeshadow palette out so this one right here i found at walmart i have no idea if it's new i have never tried profusion but i've heard really good things about this brand so this is the new profusion sun kiss 35 shade palette just a bunch of pretty colors and this palette was only 13 dollars, which is super affordable so hopefully this is gonna be a fun palette to play around with it kind of reminds me of the new ColourPop palette since it does have the shimmers there and stuff so i'm excited to test this out you guys i think we're gonna go for the yellows today because of my top i also seen that ColourPop new palette the honey palette i was gonna get it but i just have so many palettes that i do not want to spend my money in any more unnecessary stuff so we're just gonna be using this one that we have and see what look we can create but yeah guys right now i'm just priming my eyes i'm using this one from anastasia one of you guys told me to use a little bit of it but the thing that i was saying is that i do not like the packaging you know of this because se sale you see like there's primer just coming out it has the worst packaging ever um but i just wouldn't repurchase this again it's a good base but it's not like a must-have base you know so like i told you guys i want to do a yellow look um the only thing i don't like about this palette is that it has this little you know tab but it does protect it i think this is new because my walmart had it like on display where you can swatch it so i'm assuming it's new very gold so i'm gonna start with this color right here este. so this one right here that yellow shade i'm gonna go in and grab a fluffy brush and apply that on my crease i have never tried this brand so i'm actually super excited to try it out it kind of has a little bit of fallout it's kind of hard to show you guys with this packaging let me tap excess and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this here on the crease. Okay, that's pigmented. Let me grab a little more and stamp it. It's a pretty cool, um, like yellow color, mustardish. No, it's like the perfect sunflower color. So my first impressions right now is that everything's blending like pretty nice. It looks nice too. I really like this color. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I like gray, I like white, I like black, I also like yellow. I kind of like every single color except purple. For some weird reason, I have a thing against purple. But that's how I was with um, orange and then it switched. So I don't know guys, I don't know what's up with me in purple. But sometimes I don't like that color. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade, what is this called? Adventurous. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the color Adventurous. And I'm still going in with that same brush. This one is the Sigma E38 brush. So let's just reuse our brushes. So I'm going to go in with that shade Adventurous and put it right here in the outer corner. I'm kind of trying to recreate that Honey palette from ColourPop. You know, the price is good. It's only $12, but that adds up you know so since i have this palette i'm just gonna use it and i'm kind of getting that same effect but at the drugstore you know something i can actually go to walmart and just pick up this one does have a little bit of more fallout though i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it oh yeah you can look at all the fallout and i'm just gonna stamp it like 
that? How the hell did this get here? I'm gonna go in with the darker shade that I put my nail in. So this one right here is in the shade Tawny. And I'm going in with this Wet n Wild brush. And the name is called the P15 brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that one. Make sure to tap the excess. And then focus it here in the outer corner. Just to darken everything up, you know? So I blended everything out. It's kind of being a little bit difficult, um, like some of the shades, especially this one, that Venturous shade and the shade Tawny. They're kind of a little bit hard to blend out, but it's still giving me that effect that I want. So I think and now what I'm going to do is I might as well cut the crease because I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to take that same primer and put some in the back of my hand and just cut the crease really quick. So now that we cut the crease, I'm just going to go in with Adventurous one more time. And I'm just going to start blending this out. But mostly grab that yellow shade. Yeah, that yellow shade will blend it out more better. So just like that. So start with the yellow shade first. And then add that darker shade, yeah. I'm thinking one of these, maybe Headliner, which is this really pretty light yellow shade. So let's see how this one goes. And I'm going in with my flat brush. This is that Sigma brush that came in that Beauty Bird palette. This is the Sigma, it has the names here, E58. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack this here like that we have to do a wing liner um so i'm just gonna be taking the same one i always use this is the l'oreal luminous nor noir Quien sabe girl um liner and i'm just gonna do my regular winged liner i might as well do this so i want to use that glitter shade i don't know if this is eye save um let's see just continue blah 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 so right here in the back it does say the pressed pigments like the glitter ones are not intended for the use like the eye area so just keep that in mind so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it this is in the color goddess and it's that pretty gold shade i low-key want to put it here on the eye area so just to add you know a little sparkle to the eye Let's move on to the face. I'm going to prime my face using the L Plus Matte Oil Control Lotion. Um, I really like this lotion, especially for this heat. Girl, we need to be matte. So I'm just going to go ahead, apply that key on my face. Um, I already tried this foundation. It's still new at Walmart. You can go to Walmart. You can find it. This is the new Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup with SPF 50 and I'm in the color 220 natural beige it might be a little bit too light for me right now because I did self tan um, but we will see if not we'll add like another foundation but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead apply this here on my face and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I use this one so this one is from Sony Arkashuk or Kashuk however you want to say it you guys can get it at Target um for like six dollars or something like that i'm gonna go in with some concealer usually honestly i never really try new covergirl stuff i have no idea why i have nothing against covergirl i just never do but they have this new concealer that comes in i don't know how many shades to be honest let's look this up right all right so this is called the new covergirl true blend undercover concealer it does come in not bitch what does it really say this comes in nine shades? Well, in the Ulta website, this only has nine shades. But I believe at Walmart, I saw so many other shades. So don't quote me. Okay, right here, it says with 30 shades. Yeah, I was like, I've seen so many more shades. So this comes in 30 shades. It costs $10.99 on Ulta. I bought it for $7.78 at Walmart. I'm telling you. Um, and this is in the color Golden Natural. Okay, so this claims to be a full coverage concealer with a velvety smooth formula leaves behind a matte finish that lasts all day. It also said that this concealer is very comparable to a $27 concealer, which if we see the applicator, this is kind of reminding me of the Tarte Shape Concealer. I feel like this one is the most similar I have seen. Let's see, let's apply this. I think this might be a little bit too light for my liking, but it's okay, I can go and buy another one. This is a nice applicator, just like the Tarte Shape I am telling you. Okay, so I have my Tarte one here, kind of same packaging. And you know, when we think of a $27 concealer, I always think of this one. 
Oh, there you go. Can you guys see? Okay. So, chart shape, cover girl. They kind of do look alike. Look, even the applicator here. Oh my god. Did we find an $8 dupe? It's a nice coverage. It reminds me so much of the Tarte shape. Like, it really, really does. And it's not rubbing my foundation away or doing anything weird. See, this one has way more coverage than that Maybelline one. But to my friend, she it, like she loves it. And she looked amazing on it. But on me, girl, that Maybelline concealer did not look good. So that's what it looks like up close with one layer. It feels... Yeah, it feels, doesn't feel too heavy. You guys, this reminds me so much of the Tarte shape. I think we found like an actual dupe for it. And it might be this one. Do you guys want a video of me comparing them? Let me know. Because it looks pretty good to me. Now let me use their new powder. I don't know why I sleep on CoverGirl, but I kind of do. I feel like a lot of us do. And they're cruelty free too. So that's amazing. I've been trying to kind of switch to more cruelty free items and more natural items. That comes to my body wash, hair stuff, face stuff. I've really been trying my hardest. Um, but anyways guys, I'm going to use some powder. They released this one. They're in a new shade. So I don't think it's a new formula. It's just a new shade. So this is called a CoverGirl. True Blend Mineral Translucent Setting Powder. So I saw they had a banana shade as well, but this translucent one didn't seem too light on the store. So we'll open this up. Ooh, how cute. It comes with a little puff thing. And then let's see if we can... Why do they do this? I understand why they do it, but you guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna be here for like 30 minutes. Okay, so I finally got this thing open. Um, let's go ahead and add some here and see what it looks like okay let me add a little bit more okay so that's what the powder looks like it seems like a really nice powder so let's see how this goes under the eye it doesn't have a scent really and i'm just gonna pack this here with that same sponge so pretty much everywhere that I added concealer, I'm going to put this. So it doesn't come up on the new side of it. Oh, wow. This is... You guys, is this those freaking highlighter powders that people like to do? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, bitch. I think I just ruined my makeup, you guys. Let's read what this claims to do. But this has a glow to it. Yep, I should have I should have read this. It says loose powder it gives a naturally luminous look for a soft even tone. You guys, I'm pissed. I'm not really that mad, but oh my god, my dumbass is putting this all over her face. So you have, you know, if you like the luminous look and you don't have texture, then for all means go and buy this. But me, you guys, I need to go and fix this. So I think I kind of fixed it, you guys. Of course, LA Girl came to the rescue. You guys know how much I love this powder in the color Nude Beige. Remember that when you go to Ulta and buy this and think of me? But I think I'm liking my makeup again. I think we fixed her. The powder is nice under the eye, but I'm never using this again because it has that glow, natural, pretty finish. It looks pretty, just not for me. So this is going back to the store. All right, so now that I'm looking extremely pale, super white, thanks to that powder, I'm going to move on to some bronzer. So I told you guys I picked up the new collection from L'Oreal. This is their Summer Belle collection. It comes with the blush, some bronzer, and lip gloss. They also have the body luminizer, like the Fenty Beauty one just like that it looks just like it in my opinion i didn't buy it it was 15 dollars and you, honestly guys just add lotion some highlighter and you're good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and try out their new bronzer this is the l'oreal bronze please la terra sun powder face sun powder face and body bronzer so i picked this up in the shade one i feel like the other ones were really dark they have three other shades and i think it was two and three those are the shades they have and this is the first matte bronzer here in the united states okay so i finally opened this up just for comparison here is the morphe one the morphe is 20 dollars. the l'oreal one is 15 this is in the shade one and this is in the shade megastar i feel like the shade two will be the 
perfect like comparison if you guys want the same color um i was a little bit scared that it was gonna be a little bit too dark so i went in with this one so let's try this out yeah i feel like i picked up a pretty good shade and i'm gonna go ahead so ooh, it has a good smell to it it smells good but i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out here it is a pretty color to be honest Oh, this is a nice formula. It's not too pigmented, which honestly for a bronzer, that's not a bad thing, you guys. If you go in with a really pigmented bronzer that we all own or, you know, we all are familiar with, um, some bronzers are just too pigmented that they're kind of hard to blend out if you're not careful with it. But this one seems like a good bronzer to bronze up your skin, you know? Okay, so now that we have our contoured, you know little cute face i'm gonna go in with this l'oreal blush please shimmering blush in the color 11 they have another shade which is more of my color it's like a coral pretty color but that one was out of stock so i picked this one up and i'm gonna go ahead and try it out it is a shimmering blush which honestly i'm not a big fan but for the summer you know why not try something different so let's see oh wow that's pigmented that's the color it seems really bright kind of like the nars orgasm blush and i'm just gonna apply this here oh that's pretty let's move on let's see what else did we pick up i guess all we have to do is our lips so um every time i go to walmart i see a bunch of new lip products so i picked them up here so this is the new ones i found we have the new covergirl 24 hour lipstick in the shade hustler um, and this is in the shade or this is in the number 610. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this lipstick with this Cara Beauty lip liner in the color Nude Truffle. So like always, let's make sure our lips are lined. Then I'm gonna go in with that Nude Truffle lipstick. It feels really creamy on the lips. Really moisturizing too. This is a really nice formula and nice packaging. Again, it was only $8, which is really impressing. And I'm impressed by CoverGirl, you guys, except that powder. But that's my fault, you know? I should have read it. Um, so now, let's apply some gloss. Let me wait for this. It's kind of drying to more of a matte finish. Oh, that's why it's called a 24-hour lipstick. Kind of feels like a liquid lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and top this off with some gloss. I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Shall We Dance 04 or Shall We Dance. Um, it feels, it looks, I was going to say it feels, it looks like the perfect summer lip gloss with gold reflex. So I'm excited to put this on. Ooh. Oh my god. You guys. This smells like something. I'm. So, it's like taking me back to my elementary years. What does it smell like? This smells like popsicle. Like that. What is this? That like sherry popsicle. Is that what it is? I smelled this before in my elementary years. I think it's a sherry, like, popsicle, right? Hmm. It feels really creamy too. I like the applicator, like the Rihanna one, it kind of reminds me of that one. But this smells so amazing. This is worth it just for the smell. And I think this collection is limited edition. Just putting that out there. But yeah, let's finish up this lower lash line and call it a day. I'm going to go in with that yellow shade and blend this out. The only thing I don't like is this damn thing. I'm just gonna remove it. Yep, bye bye. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that yellow shade and apply it all over the lower lash line. You can do this messily because you kind of want the yellow to stand out the most. All right, and then for the inner corner, we'll do this color here. I have no idea about the name, but let's pop this right in here. And I always love dragging my shimmer upwards. This is pretty pigmented for not wetting the brush. So we went ahead and finished our makeup. This is how everything looks like. We tried everything new that I personally found at my local Walmart. Um, so first of all, you guys, the powder honestly doesn't look that bad under the eye. It's just not my favorite. I love me a good matte setting powder. Oh, there's something there. I love me a matte setting powder. So this is a no for me, but yeah, it's just whatever. Something I really did like was the concealer though. 
this is bomb you all need to go and try this it's only eight dollars and it comes in 30 shades so if you're light you're dark whatever your color is you're gonna find a pretty good match i hope so so i really like that and i love the formula as well and i cannot wait to keep using it i also really like the bronzer and the whole l'oreal summer collection is pretty nice um so yeah the bronzer is definitely a must if you can afford it it is 15 dollars, but it's a matte bronzer you get a lot of product and i feel like the color is really nice on our skin tone so i really really like it and it also has like a smell to it i don't know what it is but it has a smell as well as this lip gloss this is like a must if there's something you need to go run and buy will be this gloss it's so good it's so juicy on the lip you know and i also really like this color in shall we dance it's like that perfect summer color and i'm wearing it right now of course so definitely pick this up and the scent is something that i'm so in love with it i cannot like recommend this enough go and buy this you guys i'm telling you and yeah this video pretty much told me to try more covergirl oh yeah how can i forget this is such a bomb lipstick it's definitely one of my favorite ones from this video in the color hustler it's really good it's like creamy but sets to a matte so i definitely need to go buy more covergirl and buy more profusion because those are brands that i'm not really like i don't know a lot of their products so basically if you're thinking about getting this palette just know it does have a lot of fallout to it it's not the most pigmented thing ever but you can definitely work with it and for 12 dollars, you know why not try it out if you are looking for a palette but if you're not looking for a palette this is not like a must to your collection but it's good you know so yeah guys that's pretty much all i have to say on today's video thank you so much for taking time your day to watch this one if you guys are bored you're having a casual summer day or night and you guys aren't tired of me make sure you guys check out these videos right next to me you know go watch them go show some support and they're pretty much all drugstore videos so you guys might enjoy those thank you so much have a beautiful and blessed day and like always i'll see you guys very soon on the next one bye guys